So now we create the new uh, Azure service principle using the Azure client tools. So let lay, I have I'm using the same uh, PowerShell ISC to create the service principle using the client tools. So the AZ is a command uh, commandlet which we will use for all managing all uh, Azure resources using the Azure client tools. So this is uh, for to connect using the uh, Azure client tools we have to run the AZ login. So let me run this one. So I got this browser open. So I'm able successfully logged in. Let me close this one. So here I got I am logged in using the Muppet Mother that So I'm uh, again using the uh, variables to create that uh, service principle. So I uh, in PowerShell we have to use the dollar uh, uh, as a variables dollar and the app name. So in normally we do not use this dollar symbol in the Azure Cloud Shell are the CLI tools which we use. So using the AZ AD, AZ is a commandlet, AD is a service, service principle, create for a rule based uh, access control, name, app, app name, which is learn Azure CLI. So I'm running this one. So it will create a service principle using that name. So you can ignore about the warnings. It has created the, our service principle. So just uh, using uh, CLI, we can able to get the password. Whereas in uh, PowerShell, uh, we can have to get use another commands. So just I'm say, uh, saving these details here itself, so that I can use later. Now let me display what is uh, our service principle attributes. So for that, we have to use AZ AD service principle uh, SP and list iPhone iPhone display iPhone name service principle so here it will provide all information about our service principle so here we can see what other roles are assigned as well so let me uh, get the application id so i'm using this command so i'm uh, passing this uh, command output into the variable whereas in uh, cloud shell uh, cloud shell you no need to uh, add the dollar symbol there in front of variable so with this we have to use for the cloud shell and this is for the power shell so i got my uh, subscription let me run the subscription id as well so these are the commands where you can get the app id so az ad app list display name here, here you have to provide the uh, service principal name and out based on that output we we are querying about uh, querying for getting the app id so similarly we are using the show uh, easy account show uh, query for so now i'm using the uh, app id as a variable i'm uh, storing app id into the variable so i'm running az ad app list display name uh, this is service principal name and i'm querying for the application id so i'm running this command so i'm saving the application id onto the variable similarly i'm using the az as a uh, account show query to get the subscription id for getting the tenant id i am using az account show query tenant id where i can able to get my tenant id this tenant id subscription id might change for your uh, for, uh, for your account so please take it of the which of tenant id you are working on so let me check what the role assigned to my service principal I'm using the AZ role assignment list iPhone iPhone assigning. I'm providing the application ID to get the role assigned to my service principal. So under this uh, output, I can check for the role definition where the role is contributor role. So if uh, the normally we for this uh, packet tutorial, we need only a permission to create the resource group and creating the virtual machine, uh, creating the uh, virtual machine image or uh, uh, creating the AMI and creating this instance so you you can create the, the list pro privileges using the uh, role based access control so for now i'm just replacing the contributor role with the reader role i'm assigning a new role uh, to the same service principal using the uh, assignment role create the assigning so it has created the uh, role and it has assigned so now we we got in both the contributor and reader role assigned to service principal so i want to remove the contributor role i'm running the the az role assignment delete the uh, iphone iphone assignee application id iphone iphone role 
that is contributor role so now i am i got only reader role assigned to my service principal uh, let me check the role so this is a role uh, we got the reader role so now we are able to change the service principal access using the only reader only access so let me check it out the what the what is my password so that i can replace it the es so i have already replaced my password so uh, for log on to any uh, azure subscription using the service principal we need the application id the uh, application secret the client secret and the current id so i have provided it now i am successfully able to log on to service uh, azure subscription using this service principal which is created using the azure cli tools so that's it for the creating the service principal using the three modes now let's go on to the slides a tutorial so these are the different documentations which are available to create a service principal using the powershell cli so for thank you for viewing if you like my video and if you got a uh, useful information my video don't forget to like and uh, share this video with your colleagues and uh, friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel so to get the, uh, these videos uh, whenever i upload these videos if you want to be notified immediately don't forget to click on the bell icon so for now uh, thank you for viewing uh, we'll uh, catch up again in next video thank you for viewing